Hello friends, my name is Alex Arks, and today we're going to be playing some more No Man's Sky. In the last episode, we did a little bit of exploring once again, and we found another Atlas interface, I do believe. We travelled to a new galaxy to find that interface, and in this new galaxy, I think I started exploring a couple of the planets that were in, in the system. And I think we finished it off by actually buying ourselves a brand new ship. So I think we're now up to about 35 slots, I think, in our ship, which is quite close to the maximum, which is 48. Now, I do actually have a bit of news following on from that. Um, the planet that I... One of the planets I was on, anyway, uh, ended up having those vortex cubes once again. So I was able to farm a few vortex cubes, so... I'm now back up to 12 and a half million units, which is which is pretty alright. Um, that thing's going to try and eat my butt. Get away from me. Don't even know what it is. It's like a little stegosaurus thing. I don't know why the stegosauruses are so evil in this, but but he's annoyed. Why are you scanning me? Go away! Stop it! Just, why? What, what's going on here? What is that? I've never seen that before! Oh my god! This is unreal. So basically, what I do is, is I record a video, usually I'll go to a new system, I will then explore that system in my own free time, try and finish it off, polish off all the planets, so that in the next video I do, we can move on to another system, do some more exploring. So basically, this planet had nine animals on it, I'd find eight. And for basically all of yesterday, when I was playing this game, Eight creatures. That's all I could find. That's all I could see. Everywhere I went, I could see all eight of the of the creatures I'd already seen, but I could never find the last one. And lo and behold, here it is. I've just spawned in here, and here is the last creature. So I've actually just... I don't even know what that is. It's like a T-Rex with some slug head thing. It's just pretty messed up, but I, I was honestly, in this episode, going to be like... Right, we need to find one more animal. We'll explore, look for it for about 5-10 minutes, because I really can't be bothered. And then we'll fly away, but he's just appeared right there. So we can go here, and look, we're now 100% complete. And it was that Lakithara Nopalansi, which is this bad boy here. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So that's just got me a buttload of units as well, which is pretty good. But it's more for the... And I'm now ranked as a classifier, so I think I only need to find all the animals on two more planets and I've got that uh, maxed out, that challenge, so we'll get the trophy and we technically won't have to do it again, we won't have to... I, I do actually enjoy looking for the animals though, it's pretty cool, but that's pretty sweet. That means that's quite a good start to the episode, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's just the luck of recording apparently, but there we go, journey milestone accomplished, we found all the animals on this planet. That's pretty sweet. So, we can make the jump now, and I'm quite happy with that. This is great. Okay. Um, but yeah, something I was gonna, else I was going to say was, um, basically, uh, I also found a trading station as well. And they're pretty good for finding loads of ships. And I actually came across some guy who was selling a 48-slot ship for around about 89 million units. So, at least I now know I only have to technically buy one more ship to get the best ship. So, I'm just basically going to save up my units for ages now. I'm going to try and save up to at least 90 million, maybe 100 million. I'll save that up and then, you know, just keep chancing it, going to the space station and seeing if we can get a 48 slot ship. Because... You know, apparently I can buy them now if they appear, so I just need to really save up the credits and then find one again. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I'm finally on my way to getting an end of the game ship, which is pretty sweet. Um, I think we'll just continue on our merry way though. Oh my god, we cannot actually travel here. That is a bit of a bummer. Um, why is that green one there? See, that's interesting. Can I... Can I now go to... No, 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 Why? Right, I need to go... 
I want to go back because that was a funky like green green system so it's probably not going to be green again is it yeah why have they got different colors so if I now go to this free exploration can I now yeah what's that I don't know what this means I want to add a waypoint to that. Okay, that's interesting. So, strictly speaking, I'm going to still continue towards the Atlas Path, but I wonder whether the color of systems, whether that dictates maybe the alien race that's on them? I, I don't know. Or maybe it's just the atmospheric color, but this uh, obviously I could play my way through the system a lot differently. I am, at the moment, just literally going, okay, they want me to go this way, this way, this way. But what we can do is, I think we're going to do this. We'll go to this system here, and then we have a choice of whether or not we can continue on the Atlas, or we go to that weird, different coloured one. To be honest, I don't know whether the colour of a system in this interface actually makes any difference, but it might do. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But we'll go to this thing. Um, that well established system in space yeah words and stuff I, I still I actually can't get over the fact that that animal just appeared because it's, it's really annoying I've said it before and it keeps happening to me I will find all but one or two of the creatures on a planet and then I'll spend an hour, two hours, three hours maybe, just dossing about, trying to find it. The last one, and it just doesn't appear. So, I'm happy that I got that done. Not only is it credits, but it's also progress towards a, a trophy. So, that's always good. That's always, always good. But, what? There's an anomaly again. <laughs> okay, so I think we must be meeting with Daft Punk and Frogger again, which is pretty sweet. It, it really doesn't like to tell me when I'm going to come across one of these, does it? It's just it's just kind of a case of, oh yeah, you, you, you're just going to, it's just going to appear. That's procedural generation for you. It just doesn't tell you what's going down. Can I, no, I can't even pulse jump. Okay. Hopefully, this might actually be Atlas Pass V2 time, maybe. Who knows? Hopefully, Frogger has got some good stuff for me. Um... I think once again I'm going to get that awkward question from Daft Punk saying do you want to continue on your own quest? Do you want to go to the core? Or do you want to follow the Atlas? I think I'm going to stick with the Atlas. I don't know what the Galactic Core really has to do anything with anything or whether or not it's all leading to the same place. But <laughs> My name is Nada and I look like Daft Punk. Hello, frog. Right, frog. Tell me some stuff. Okay, so hopefully he's going to give us Atlas Pass V2. Units this, units that. Strange sad way to live a life. Hey, fill your pockets with them. We'll find out why they make all these worlds go around. Polo's muzzle breaks into a wide, warm smile at the sight of me. Maybe too wide, given we've only met twice before. Perhaps the jovial Gek feels lonely out here, with only the jittery Corvax priest for company. This time they engage me in a talk of wealth. How does an economy function? when somehow stretched across an entire galaxy. Just how much can those trade terminals pay out? Polo would welcome any insights. Transmit wealth data. Oh, my fear that Polo would seize my units proves unfounded. Instead, they stare briefly at my incomprehensible graph then guffaw as if it shared a growth. So, are they laughing at how much money I have? Ha! <laughs> We're incredibly rich. <laughs> Isn't that just the way with rich people? They just... What was that? Oh! I didn't realize this guy sold weapons! Let's be honest, it looks pretty sweet, but... Perk-wise, nah, it's pretty tame compared to what I've got. Sorry! I don't know whether to talk to him again. Actually, why are in any of these other doors? Nothing? Is, is this where you sleep, you guys? You guys? Okay, I can't I can't explore anything else. So obviously not Atlas Pass V2. Was he about to dab? 
I don't know, maybe he was. Right, Corvax Convergent, Crave Non Compliant, Nada Shell, Convergence, Illogical, Traveler, Data Conclusion, Irresistible, Galaxy Shape, Size, Distribution Error, Explore More. Okay! So once again, Nata is just to the point. He just wants to know what we're doing. What? How do you want to play the game, Alex? Well, I, I don't know. But Nata's normally restrained form is jittery and dancing. The, the eternal symptom of an internal struggle. Iridescent lights fluoresce across their visor. At times, another entity seems to stare out. I grasp their arm firmly. And soon a familiar light pattern reasserts itself. The Corvax endlessly attempt to regain their errant shell and wipe Nada from existence, but the priest entity won't succumb until they have solved the riddle of reality. So is he, uh, he's like broken away from the Corvax, but it's like a hive mind trying to sneak back in. That's pretty mad. Um, okay, so resources to aid exploration, shortcut to the center, or resume the path of the Atlas. I believe I will resume the path of the Atlas. I don't know whether that reaction of his was, oh god, not the Atlas again. Did I fail? Have I failed the game? Technically I can't, so we're all good. We'll continue. I mean, it's, uh, for some reason it just seems to be Sepix every single time. So what we'll do is take off. We'll have a wee donder at some of the planets in this system. Then I think we technically, what was that? There's some weird noises going on. This looks like a... So that's a moon. Mm, where are the other planets? See, I should really remember to actually check the little information card before I leave for a galaxy, because then it'll tell me what I can expect planet-wise. So that's the moon and this is the planet. Is this the only two things in here? Come on, pulse engine. <laughs> So yeah, I, d I don't know whether Nada and Polo is going to keep showing up, giving me the option to, to go somewhere different. Like, they're... You know, like, whether or not the Atlas thing is by the by, and they're always going to be there every couple of things. Like, do you want something new to do? I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. There's, like, no story. <laughs> so there's, like, nothing to go on. It's just that little blue dialogue box at the bottom right. Every now and again tells me things that I should probably be doing. Um, okay, so we'll go and try out a Nero Vichu Inko. Novel name for a planet. Hopefully there's some animals. Whether or not I'll hang about long enough to try and find them all because the animals in this game are just ridiculously hard to find quickly. It's kind of annoying. It seems to almost be like a time-based thing. You have to have been on a planet long enough to see them all rather than actually be good enough at spotting things. Which just seem a bit... almost counterintuitive, but there you go. Procedurally generated games are kind of weird anyway. But here we go. This actually looks quite deserty. From There looks to be a buttload of emerald though. We'll just park up here. There's a lot of emerald actually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So what's going down on this planet? Weather warm, sentinels minimal, flora regular, and lacking in fauna. That's not great, but I suppose it's just a little stopgap. We'll have a little wander and a donder. I suppose that's one of the main... Oh, it's gold. Ah, oh, gold? Ugh. I suppose that's one of the main things, though, is since I bought a new ship last episode, I technically lost all the warp charge I had already in that ship, so... Like, now all I've got is, like, that. I don't have any more warp drives. I'd have to make some. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make some more warp drives because I kind of lost the warp juice. But that's, that's fine. It's fine. I can live with that. Um, I don't know whether I was trying to see if we can actually find any animals. I mean, I kind of don't want gold. There's no, there's no urgent need for it, really. Just be a waste of time farming it up. Go and see what this big black material is, whether that's copper or iridium or something. Maybe? Something handy, hopefully, but we'll probably need to... Yeah, like I said, make some warp cells. Warp drives. Warp juice, I don't... I can't, whatevs. Nickel. I think I need nickel. I believe I need some nickel for things that I want to build. 
because I really wanted to upgrade my blaster capacity to maximum. So I need... I'm pretty sure it was nickel. It was nickel or iridium. And I'm sure I have a buttload of iridium, so it must be nickel! But we'll grab, we'll grab this stack here. See if there's any animals or anything actually going down on this planet. We'll do a little scan. Although that only does round about me rather than entire planet, but that's acceptable. Ah, nah, nah, nah. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a really hard slog to uh, save up 90 odd million credits, but I mean, I'm assuming that there's going to be a lot more rare materials the further on I go. Um, once again, I think it's all procedurally generated based on how far through the the quests I am. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if anything changes up uh, once I visit the next Atlas um, space station interference thing. Uh, whether or not Sepix is broken or not broken, I don't know. It, it's all getting a bit... Um, I don't know, there just needs to be some serious explaining done or something big happened because at the moment it just seems to be endlessly finding these Atlas stations and then being told some kind of story about how everlasting they are. I just I just want to know what's going down. So I might have enough nickel now. Let's Let's have a wee gander. So what I wanted to do was yes, it was an ammo ammo technology for the blaster. And it was zinc. Oh no, I did need nickel, but I also need zinc. Okay, so uh, you are on fire. Zinc. They come on those little plants, don't they? The yellow ones. There we go. Right. I'm just going to quickly gather some zinc, and then we'll be able to upgrade my blaster to maximum capacity. And that'd be that'd be just fantastic for taking on. Well, anything, anything really. I mean, I powered up my blaster quite a bit, like strength-wise, so it kills... I mean, it destroys sentinels really, really, really quickly, so that's one bonus. Uh, where is this? There you are. I can't remember how much zinc I needed. Was it 50? Because I think that should be enough, if that is the right number. Yes, there we go. Right, okay. So, we can uh, boost that to the maximum. So, we'll build that. Sweet. So, what does that actually do? 12 out of 76. That really seems to have gone the other way, but we'll charge charge you back up. 87. That's, that's nice. I don't know whether I can put more clip size on and it'll get bigger. I don't... I don't know. Um, I just don't know... Uh, I, that's the thing. I've only got two slots left, and I don't know what to kind of put in there. Um, initially, I did put in a load of things that would help me farm quicker, uh, you know, mining up materials and that sort of thing, but to be honest, it's not something I've really done a lot of recently. Most of what I do, do for money is just find those Corvex. I know there's convergent, no, there's vortex cubes. I'll eventually get, get the right item, but yeah, vortex cubes or something like that seems to be really good for quick and easy space units, so yeah, I don't know whether just to try and aim it more for for just blowing stuff up, increase the damage. Like I said, I'm not going to go for the plasma launcher, I just don't see any point in having, having that as a weapon, you know, it's... The time I did have a multi-tool with that on it was pretty hard to use because it is literally just like a grenade launcher and you have to, you know, aim it so that the grenade does actually fly through the air and hit the moving sentinel, which can be quite difficult. So I just found it easier to not have that on or not use it, which means, you know, what's the point of having it take up an entire slot on your thing? Anyway, I... There is a moon here, isn't there? What was the moon? Oh, there's more planets! Jesus, where did all these come from? I was just at the anomaly. Where did these other planets... You're kidding me on. 
They weren't there, were they? Because I came from the anomaly, and these planets are on the way to the anomaly. Kind of. I looked around. How could I not see these two other massive planets? Oh well, we're going to Nora Jar's Ribbits. That's quite a cool name, if that is procedurally generated. Nora Jar's Ribbits. I bet there's frogs on this one. That's a good point, actually. We didn't see what the alien race was, because I didn't actually see any space bases. So maybe, maybe it is Gek. Or maybe Polo's the last one. I do remember the Gek being involved when I was early game learning all about the Corvax through those ruins and stuff. There was something about the Gek came, but then I think the Gek may have got wiped out. So maybe we never really meet any Gek. I don't know. I don't know. I hope we do. That'd be awesome. But... Yeah, I don't know. I have a sneaking suspicion at the back of my mind that Polo may be one of the only Gek. I mean, I've met loads of Ikeen, loads of Corvax, but never Gek, so... We'll just have to wait and see what comes of that. Maybe I've just been really unlucky, or maybe it's just scripted so that Gek arrive later on in the story. <laughs> I put that in inverted commas because, yeah, the, the story... Basically, lack of is the real main point here, but... Let's see if we can find a little settlement to park up and see what's going on on this planet. What's going on here? I don't know why it's so hard for me to find things. There we go. This looks like Corvax. This looks like this has been busted. This is awesome. Not droughty. <laughs> it's a bit of a droughty planet, yes. Okay, so it's a bit droughty. Uh, this has been blown up quite significantly. Don't tickle me. There's always like one of those big tentacle beast things hanging from the ceiling and it always gets me in these band b b b b buildings. Okay, so where do the sentinels come from? No ships are ever seen arriving to deposit them, yet we know they have spatial drives and can appear on any planet. Do they build themselves from resources on the worlds that they have, that they infest? Like a mechanoid virus drawing on the host body to metastasize new matter. Corvax science speaks of metals in their makeup that should not exist in our age of the universe. No one has ever seen them built. They are simply here as if the universe expresses them into existence. I'm sure I've already read this before from another log thing, but... Oh well. Procedural generation at its best. Keep telling me the same stuff. But yeah, that is a bit weird that kind of no one knows what the Sentinels... Where have you come from? Right. I have a craving. And there's animals. So I'm going to I'm gonna have a little quick explore on this because there is actually... Some... Really? Is he inside the cave? Right, I don't... Is there even a cave here? Yeah, there is a cave. Alright, do you reckon he's inside or on the other side of this ridge? I'm gonna say he's disappeared. No, oh, he's down there. Or is he inside the cave? Where are these animals? I think they must be inside the cave. I'm gonna have a quick look because usually all the good loot appears inside the cave, so... Oh, no, 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 this thing's here. What is that? My god, that's like a rat merged with a, a a lizard. It's got like a massive kind of rat head thing on like a tiny little lizard body. Right, I'm going to try and... No, I don't want to analyze... Oh, I don't want to analyze the trees. I'm not some kind of paleontologist or... A, a, I don't even know. I think that's what they're called. Paleontologist. I don't like pails of water. Right, we'll have a we'll have a quick gander on this planet because you never know. We might find a lot of decent animals. We might even find some new rare material. I think might is <laughs> the operative word in that statement. We might actually find nothing at all. 
Right, where is this animal? There you are! Oh, it's one of you again. There's always one of you. Big dandelion... walrus machine. I don't know what that is, but... It sounds like an awesome animal, whatever it would be. A dandelion lion machine. Right, we'll try and get in the caves, because usually if there's going to be good stuff, it's in a cave. Get in the hole. And this is quite possibly the worst cave I've ever seen! Okay, so we need to probably head back to the ship. That's a good point. We'll see how many animals there are. Not in that menu. Okay, so there's only nine on this planet. And I found two. Don't die. Uh, I can guarantee you there'll be a flying one at least. And there's bound to be some kind of crabby... Crabby cool or tenta crab or something in here as well. There's usually one of those weird kind of <laughs> pincery kind of I'm going to murder you in your sleep crab things. They're just the they're just the worst those things. Uh, there's a cave down there. Is that birds? Yes, I can hear the birds in the sky. Right. Okay. Do you want to do you want to analyze? Okay, so that's three out of nine, so we're a third of the way there. Um, two? What? Oh, come on. So those two animals I found earlier were actually the same animal. Clearly. Clearly Rat Machine is the same as Donkey Tron. Like, they were two completely different creatures. Just because they have both have four legs doesn't make them the same, does it? Ugh. This game... This game, I suppose it can do whatever it wants, but still, this game. All right, we'll have a quick gander, see if there's any something special. Aluminium, meh. I'm looking for some uh, vortex cubes. Do you seem? Do you have any vortex cubes in here? There's a lot of plutonium. It's quite dark as well. Do I have a torch? No, apparently I don't have a torch, even though I usually have a torch. I've never used it, but yeah, you, uh, use, maybe it only works when it's dark. Even though it is pretty dark and I can't see anything. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't think there's any vortex cubes here. Here, vortex, vortex, vortex. Absolutely nothing. Okay, this planet may be a bit of a write-off as well. Um... Purely because it would probably just take me way too long to find all the animals. However, I am probably causing myself quite a problem right now. Please tell me that that's a hole that's giving our flight. Please. Yes! Okay, we can get out. We can get out. Oh! What are you? Where are you? Animal! Animal! Stop it! Oh no, is it the evil walrus platosaur? Pla platus? Plat <laughs> platosaur? Okay, that's a Eula Slago Besconta. Don't know why I said it in a foreign accent, but it just feels like it should be. Okay, so we are making progress on the animal front, but I don't know whether it's really worth hanging about, because oh, I keep pausing it the wrong way. That's, what, three out of nine? We could be here a long time trying to dig up the other ones. I say dig up. I'm not actually... I'm not... Is that what a paleontologist? No, that's an archaeologist. Yeah, I know my ologists. Yeah, I'm not an archaeologist, so I won't be digging up any animals. I am just going to be using my binoculars to spy on them from a distance. Just like how I like my women. No, I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I don't do that. That was a joke. That was a very, very bad joke. But let's fill up the juice in in the ship and let's just let's just go for a donder to another planet so there was one other one I think so that's the one I've already visited it has a moon we'll go back to the other one yeah yeah we'll go back to the other one and then that's actually a rock to go away uh, nickel no I don't want no nickel right where have I gone past that planet again already? 
It might just be more prudent just to say no. I'm so confused. This is why they need like a proper like space map or something that just makes it easier to see where things are because this little poopy monitor on my in my spaceship really doesn't help me at all. So apparently there's like four more planets round the other side of this one. Well, looks like all right. I'm going to pulse jump round this planet. I am actually using up quite a lot of fuel, so I'm going to top up with Thanium, Thanamium, and Exosuit. So yeah, I, I've got a lot of space to pick up some stuff, but there's just nothing decent out there right now. Uh, let's slow it up. What's going on? Okay, so there is another planet. Dig, uh, dig Lamantinov. Um, and Usono Jongbo. And uh, that's the one that does Jonas Ribbits. What? How many, what's going on? Is that my plan? Oh, gee, I just, just... Right, I'm going to go to this one. I'm going to go to Diglamatov. Go to Diglamatov. See what's happening on Diglamatov. Matinov. And then we'll go and Atlas ourselves. Or do we go to the green thing? Remember that green one I, I marked? I wouldn't be surprised if after having visited Nada and Polo that they've actually decided the Atlas interface is somewhere else now. Because I was on my way to it, and then it just decided, no, you can change your path if you really want to. So I don't know. That would be just my luck that that's changed. Um, while we're waiting though, I'm going to have a quick look and see. So I don't, I don't want to mess about with any of this stuff because... It's just, it's just a, it's just a grenade. I mean, it's a bit of a noob thing to have. I don't know if I need combat amplifiers. Because I, I just want to make sure I do actually have, because I might not need any of the mining stuff come into the game. It's kind of nice to have when you're farming emerald and stuff like that, because it, it just makes the whole process go a lot quicker. But like I say, the big money items now seemingly for me are like when it spawns gravitino balls and those vortex cubes so i don't really need a mining tool for that so who knows i i'll see how it goes I, really i want to make more progress than i'm doing right now but i don't want it to just be jump 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 that's another good point, actually. I've just remembered I actually do need to make some more warp drive cells, so... What do we need for that? We need to build suspension fluid... Electron vapor... Electron vapor! And then we need to make... Black... Black antimatter. There we go. And then we can build a warp cell. That's fantastic! Okay, so I can make warp cells. I think they are actually, like, I think it's just one warp cell per jump, no matter how far the jump is, so as long as we keep keep a, a decent supply, we should always be good, not have to worry about that. Um, this planet looks a bit funky monkey. Um, I'm going land here, this does look like Corvax. What is happening to my ship? Why are you stuck? Yes, there we go. Alright, just land. Oh, there's actually a spaceport over there. Damn it. Oh, oh well. If we need to, we can go there. If this planet is super cool. But I doubt. Volatile, low security, high and common. So there should be a lot of animals on this planet. This is actually a research facility. This is actually quite a good place to stop. Oh, oh it's my favourite little jumpy worm. I've seen these guys before. I'm sure they were called something else. Um, okay, let's have a quick look and actually see what's all going on on this planet. So, there's only six! This could be quite an easy find. I say could be because, knowing my luck, it won't be, but... If you just let me have a look at your face! Do you wanna, do you wanna actually scan? There we go! Okay, so that's two already. That's two. Two out of six. I am banging this game. 
not in like any kind of rude way but right now we can break ourselves into this 87 bullets straight in how do you like them apples All right, we're gonna we're gonna do some sentinel destroying destruction just to clear them out there we go this gun is really good now it's really really good right so i now actually have to switch this off correctly ah oh, corvax i know a lot of corvax words so the facility is processing a signal that emanates from a distant location deep in space endless processing units are combining the, to crack the code of a strange mathematical language rare elements are being pulled from the resource vaults at my feet but some are running low atlas signal awakes research entity insert oxides avoid disruption is that good I've learned how to make Herox, which is pretty good. That's new. Okay, is Herox expensive? Uh, let's see. Herox, Herox. That's all I'm ever worried about these days, because I can craft Grantine, but that takes up Aronium, and then Iridium and Copper. And Iridium and Copper are pretty rare. Herox, it's just Zinc and Platinum, and it's only worth about 3,000. Meh. It's probably quite quick and easy to make loads of them, but at the same time, they're not worth a lot. So is it really worth my time? Probably not. However, off the back of that discovery, that looks to be a crashed ship over there. It does indeed. I think we should go and have a gander. Not after having a look at these funny squidgy frog toads. <laughs> oh, God. The, I, like... Okay, procedurally generated. There's obviously some kind of coding somewhere where the base of the animal is the same and they just add bits and bobs or take away things. You know, so the variety is obviously going to be limited. But literally, it just seems to be like the same weird, spongy, big, jumpy things and things with googly eyes. That's all my aliens seem to be at the moment. But, uh, alright, where's this crash ship? It's not that far away. This is quite a find. This is quite a good find, actually. It does actually look quite similar to the last ship I had. Do you want to just land? Just, do you just want to grow a pair of landing feet and just do it? Okay, so obviously the little jumpy worms are here. Whoa, there's a whole load of them. I said there's a whole load of them. Thank you. Scan that. I will scan you as well. Because you're a little baby one. You get me. So that's already four out of six animals. That's pretty sweet. Um, ships up here. Okay. This is quite. See why it keeps giving me phase beams and rubbish things like that. Okay. So before we have a look at the ship, the moment of truth, we'll interact with this beacon. <clears throat> High tick. Ship's emergency systems activate as I climb on board, and a hologram appears before me. The lights in the mask it wears seem wide and dim. The pilot clamly reports news of its imminent demise. The noise of explosions and tearing metal can be heard. The hologram disappears, leaving an array of glittering technologies and devices behind it. Some of them still look operational. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. La 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 la. We're going to search for transported goods. Ooh, okay, so there's a blueprint. Is it going to be something new? No! I this I can't have found all the blue blue the blue, blue the blueprints. I can't have found all the blueprints in the game. It's just not it's not possible. Right. Thirty seven slots. Oh woe is me. How many have I got? I thirty seven. No thirty six. Ah. Oh dear. This is one of those things where it probably isn't worth it for the extra slots. So you've got a warp reactor. Sigma. So yeah, you've got the same warp stuff as me. So there really isn't that much of a benefit for one extra slot. Like I said, I know I can, if I have the credits, I can go out and buy myself. How many bird different birds are there? I could go out and buy myself. There's a lot of birds on this level. I could go out <laughs> and buy myself. Conversation. Remember where I was at. 
I can go out and buy myself a end of the game 48 slot ship. So, basically I don't need to really worry unless I come across a broken ship with 48 slots or significantly more than what I've got now then it's probably worth taking it because you know I might be able to get ow really do you want to stop squirting on me I might be able to actually get an end of the game ship without having to buy it which would be actually the biggest bonus ever but you know the odds of that happening are pretty slim so, I'm going to have a quick gander in the caves, because you never know. Once again, there could be some vortex cubes or something here. Something worth my while. There is definitely something. Are they things, or are they just bits of... There's... Oh, no, I don't think they're actually items that... Actually, unknown. Hold on. Hello? What is this? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Where? I'm kind of pinned in here. Okay, so this is an entirely new item and there's hundreds of them. Hundreds of them. So these album and pearls. I've never seen these before. I've never seen anyone selling them. This is pretty sweet. Okay. Um, I'm going to farm these up. I'm going to farm all these up. Drastically awesome music. Um, quickly, going to have a look. Extremely rare. Ooh. Okay, so these are 27,500 each. So they're on par with the, the cubes and all the other kinds of things that we've been farming before. So this is cool. I might actually hang about here a little bit. Grab some more of these. I don't know whether... Oh, no, no, no. This is a dead end. I don't know whether they'll actually ever send the sentinels down here. It seems like a bit of an awkward place for them to come, really. Down into the cave system, so... We'll just leave them hanging. Oh, man. There's so many... Ah! No, 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 no. Where is he? Is he behind that? Alright, he's over there, so hold on. What's going on? I'm so confused. There's so many of these. And there's a trade station, like, right next door. So this is absolutely spot on. This is really good. There's a bit of danger. Obviously, there's a bit of a bit of sentinel loving going on, but that's pretty good. Makes it a bit more exciting. Um, I wonder whether they actually have a use outside of being just extremely rare. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's grab you. An album and pearl, okay. Warning, Sentinel Combat Unit. I've never actually tried to take on one of those Sentinel things. They are pretty tough. I usually just run away from them, because I'm a pro. Uh, but yeah, they're, I, I should, I might be able to take one down fairly easily. My gun is pretty good now. Uh, don't know how much better it could be, but come on, just grab these pearls. So many pearls, man. Yes! Give me all the pearls! The only thing is I need to actually... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Steady on. You follow me down here? That was a bad move. That was a very bad move. Very, very bad move. There we go, there we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. Let's get some more of these pearls. Come on, come on. I mean, there's loads of other items I still haven't seen. There's things like night crystals. There's venom sacks. And I think they all kind of fall under the same thing as these pearls and the core... and the, the, the cubes as well. They're all kind of like special rare... Okay, so I'm nearly maxed out. They're all like special rare kind of items that you can only find on, on on the planet's surface and stuff. Okay, so here's an exit. That's pretty good. So I think what I'll do now is I'll just I'll just farm up these materials because I'll I you know I have neglected my plutonium for quite a while and I have used quite a lot. Right, 
Are we all good? Just max out on what we have. Okay, I think that's me maxed. So we can now get out of here. There's some weird looking scenery and stuff here, but. So I'm pretty close to... What was that? Oh my god. That's the sentinel thing, isn't it? I think... <laughs> I think for giggles... Let's see if we can take this bad boy down. Come on then! Easy as pie. Okay. However, 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 however... I seem to have aggravated Billy Bob here. Right, Bob's down, Bob's down. Steve, you want some too? How about you, Barry? Eat it. Okay, that's good. I do now have three star, which is quite drastic, but... Okay, do you actually have any items? Where's your little barrel ball thing? There we go. What's in here? No! <laughs> Usually, I think they must have pretty decent items attached to them. But we'll never know now. Okay, so I can quite easily take those things out, which is pretty good. Oh, my ship's all the way over there. So what we'll do is get back to the ship. We will then take it for a little spin. We'll go find that trade station, get rid of these venom... No, they're not venom sacks. The albumum pearls. And then we'll see if we can polish off the critters on this uh, planet. Because we're pretty close. I think we're four out of... Four out of six? Yeah, four out of six. Pretty good going. Technically, should be pretty easy, but like I said, usually it's easy to find the first, you know, 80 90% of them, and then it just becomes ridiculously difficult or time consuming, rather, just to find that last that last creature you need. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll go get we'll go get rid of these things and we'll make a decision from there. But that that's quite a find so far. I'm quite I'm chuffed, I'm chuffed. It's been a good, good trip out, this this episode. So far, obviously. It could go drastically wrong, but... Okay, so here we have our little trade station. Let's just pull in. Let's just get some tea and biscuits. Let's have a little... Let's have a little rest. Let's just see what's going down. Okay, so we've got a restore point. So, this is actually going to be fairly interesting, because I might just have a quick gander and see what kind of level the ship's coming in at. Like I said, I have seen a 48. It'll be interesting to see how frequently 48 slot ships show up, because it could have just been such a perfect guy showing up with his big 48er. Negotiation, Rosh Shavu Shavu Traveller. This thing, I still don't understand all the Corvax, so... 31. That's the thing, it can be quite random. Sometimes you can get beastly ships. Other times are quite naff. Let's just make the jump. Whoa! Storm? There was a storm? I don't remember that. Ah, there you go in Galita with your fancy iPad. Let's just get to the selling of the ship. 29. So... I... Yeah, I don't know. It might take me, once I've actually got the money, it might take me ages to actually find someone that's selling a 48 slot ship, but yeah, I suppose that's just the price you pay. Let's go and sell some of these then. So, Corvax casing, we've got one of those to sell. Some gold, titanium, I don't need. Albumum, ooh, 24 for 659, that's pretty good. Uh, aluminium. Do I need aluminium? Blah, 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 blah. We'll get rid of the aluminium. We don't need that. Uh, plutonium. Nickel. We've got a load of nickel. Why have we got so much nickel? Uh, actually, what can we buy from here? Now, I've, you know, I've started looking more at what you can actually buy from these things. Because sometimes I'm just like, oh, well, I might as well just buy the item I'm looking for. Usually it's like a material. Like nickel. Things like that. Things that a rare, but I need that I could go out and farm, but it would just take just forever just to get them in the quantities I'd need. So, yeah, I'm always curious what's being sold. Uh, this guy looks like he's got a pretty big ship. We'll have a gander at what he's got, but we will move that. Let's move some stuff into the ship. 
warp cell we can actually put into the ship. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll go and see this guy. We'll then go and have a little look in the cave. I think daytime's rolling around again, which is pretty good. Because that'll bring the creatures back out. Or at least increase the spawn rates. And yeah. We'll see what's going on. Make an offer. How much? See, there's a 45 slot for 60 million. So that extra three slots is like an extra 30 million. So it's like an exponential increase uh, in the later game. Yeah, I don't quite have 60 million. I've got 13 and a half. But at this point, like I said, I have seen a 48 ship arrive. So in theory, what is that? Damn! Terramin. I've never seen Terramin before. But if I could manufacture some of that stuff, and it was nice and easy to manufacture, that's that's big bucks right there. Uh, right, so there's nothing else going on, so we'll just jump over the edge. Land nice and gently. So there's plenty of caves around about here, so... We'll go for a little gander, will we? We'll go for a little explore. Might get some animals spawning. Well, I hope so, anyway, because we're only needing two. We haven't actually been attacked by any animals yet, so... For me... The way I think about it is, technically, there should always be an apex predator, so... There's, one of the animals should always be one that attacks you and wants to kill you. Um, I think every planet so far I have visited, there has been one such uh, animal. So, if I get to, like, the end... If I get to, like, five out of six and I haven't bumped into any creatures that want to kill me, then I kind of know what I'm looking for. Usually it's just crabby things. Uh, sometimes it's the big T-Rex thing with the slug on its head as well, but what is that? These are some weird plants on this planet. Um, hmm, I'm not doing too good at finding a cave, although I say that, and there is one right here. Does this actually go anywhere? Do you go anywhere, cave? No, you don't. That's a dead end. It's a dead end cave. This isn't really a cave then, is it? Let's be honest. It's just a hole in the ground with some fancy sticks. Okay, we'll get out of here. There did look to be some proper decent caves over here, but... Aha! Okay, we found a proper decent cave. Right, we'll go back, we'll get some more sacks, because this stuff can be tasty. I might battle some more of those sentinel units, because they could be pretty good for... I say that, this cave doesn't go anywhere either. Well, what's the... What's the point? Now nah, I'm stuck with three wanted... Oh, nipples! Get away from me! A lot of titanium. Are you coming down over the top? Where's Spider-Man? There you are. But where's Spider-Man? I'm more interested in... Hello! Can he not get up? Is he just going to walk around in circles? Get him, 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 Finally, we get to see what these guys carry. A dimensional matrix. I think they're pretty expensive as well. And you can actually get some decent stuff off of... Okie dokie. So... Even if it all goes Pete Tong and I just kill Sentinels, they do actually drop some pretty decent gear. So, a dimensional matrix. 15 grand for a dimensional matrix. It's not bad, seeing as I can kill those things pretty quickly. Oh, what are you? Have I seen one of you before? Is that a new discovery? Five out of six. Okay. Okie dokie. So, I do think we're at the point now where I need to find... I think it might be a predator. It must be. I haven't been attacked by anything yet, have I? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, vegetation. Temperament. These are all nice, aren't they? Shy. <laughs> <laughs> An unintelligent temperament. That is literally a slap in the face for you, pal. Uh, yeah, this must be... There must be an aggressor, then. I mean, if you think about it, there always has to be an apex predator. 
one at the top of the food chain, one that just will attack and eat all the other ones. That's just how life works. So, the big question is, does it exist and what is it on this planet? I don't know. I haven't seen anything in the caves, so if it was going to be one of those scorpion tarantula things, it would have already spawned, probably. I would have already seen it. But it's still night time. Slowly coming to day, so we might get some more spawns coming in. That's a lot of sack venom just hanging about. It's not sack venom. I keep calling it. What are they called? Albumin pearls. Okay. Get some more albumin pearls. Bab 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 I'm gonna get shot at, I'm gonna get shot at, I am get your frickin' laser face away from me. They're pretty actually tough when they actually want to be. Oh no 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 Oh my god, that was interesting. I forgot that you could actually run out of ammo for this thing. And I... Oh, what? Really? It's not... What? Oh, Starship out of range. No! I don't know what I need. Do I need thamium? Num, num? Does plutonium charge? Does... Plutonium must charge this. Oh, thank the lord. Okay. Okay, so yeah. It was probably a bad move taking off all my plutonium... Kind of leaves me with nothing to kill anyone with. But we've got some now, so we're all good. Right. We'll do a little bit more album and pearl exploration. Hopefully try and find this last creature, because that would be really nice. Um, de -de 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 dead end? Really? God, I cannot catch a break with these caves. They're so rubbish. Okay, more album and pearls, right, so, looks like I'm going to have to go and brave the outside world once again. We are getting close to the hour mark, so, do I go and hunt this last animal and hope that we can quickly, oh, you found me, you have found me. Right. Let's just keep moving, keep moving. First person shooter skills coming in. Yeah, okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got another one behind us. No, 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 no. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I might try and see where his thing went. Where did your thing go? There your thing went. There we go. Grade and grenade intensity. I see, I don't want grenade intensity either. I just want. I just want nice things. New product formulas, but I think you can only get them from... Oh, what's this? Aluminium. I don't need aluminium. Yeah, I think you can only get new product formulas from those manufacturing facilities. You know, the places where you got to blow up the door and get inside and then switch off the alarm. Uh, so, those are always good, but, like, the last few have just been really rubbish for me. Like, they've just given me things I already know. Like, suspension fluid. So yeah, I mean, they usually don't give me anything that decent. It's usually things I've already had, so... We will just have to do a bit more exploring, methinks. Um, are any of you new- Ooh, hello! You might all be related, though. Ah, it already belongs to a species I've already seen! We are just now waiting on one creature. And I don't know what it's gonna be, to be honest. It should be one that's aggressive towards me and other creatures, but that in itself doesn't doesn't change anything. It doesn't help. Like I said, if it's going to be one of those crabby things, usually they they like kind of cave areas. But that's the thing. It depends on how the generation, the procedural generation, really works in this game. Whether or not it does only stick them in caves, I don't know. So we'll have a wee wander up here. But it's interesting because we're back to the same point where we've got five out of six. We've nearly finished the creatures. And now we just need one. And it's probably going to be there. What is that? Where are you? Red dot, red dot, red dot, red dot. This could be it. This could be it. It could belong to a species I've already spotted. But this could be it. 
<gasps> what is that? Please be new. Please be new. Please. Yes! <laughs> right at the death. We've done it. Yes. And there's a little, little wee... What the hell is that? That's a weird... Anyway, that's sweet. So we have... We have, we have, we have... We've done it again. That's two planets in one episode. That's pretty sweet. So we'll upload 150,000 units. Pretty good. Just gonna upload these for the extra coins as well. I'll do the rest later, actually. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. So, we've discovered new elements. Quite a few new kind of things, actually, which is pretty good. New planet. Journey milestone accomplished. So we now only need, is it one or two more planets? I can't remember where we're up to. One more. One more planet, which is pretty good. And then we've completed that challenge. So we just need to find all the species on another planet. And, yes. Just building up that bank balance again. So we're going to go to the Atlas interface probably next time. Or that other galaxy, actually. That's a good point. Is one or two. Unless we do both. We could do both. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, friends, stay awesome. And bye. Probably landed here before. That's really loud. Why is this game so loud? Right, okay. So, I've never been on this bit of the planet before. I'm just going to drop through. Why does that nearly kill me every single time? Right, I'm looking for something. So, basically, the items that I'm looking for... Ah! What was that? Literally, what was that? Stop it. I've had enough of your poop. <laughs>